after I quit working as a scientist and uh, I became a Christian and then I entered into the ministry and all of my science, scientist friends <laughs> were mocking at me and laughing at me and said, I go got some, you know, got religion and, uh, you, you know, something uh, spooky or crazy and so on. And uh, they, they were avoiding me, but it's interesting. When something dis- disastrous happens, like cancer, and in this particular case, it was uh, kidney stones. This uh, man, the scientist, uh, the doctors already found, I think, four or five kidney stones in his uh, kidneys. And uh, one of them was passing through and was excruciating pain. And he was screaming in the background. His wife, I knew her too. So his wife called me and, oh, I call, please pray. And uh, he, he's in agony and just screaming. I could hear the screaming in the background. And so I commanded the laser beams of God's word and say, it is written, for this purpose the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy or undo the works of the devil. And I commanded kidney stones to be uh, dissolved into nothing. And uh, I said, all of them. Okay, not, not just the one that is uh, stuck in the uh, uh, passage. Uh, so I commanded all of them to be dissolved into nothing. And uh, do you know, within a few minutes, I repeated, the, you know, it is written. Okay, so probably took about three, four minutes. And uh, the screaming stopped. And uh, so apparently the pain was, was gone. And the next day, it, it was over the weekend. So next day, Monday, uh, he went back to the doctors and had the, all the, uh, you know, test done. I think they had some kind of, a, uh, I think, a sound, I think ultrasound thing to test it. They discovered all the kidney stones were gone. Isn't that wonderful? And so after this, uh, ex- you know, experience. There are many other scientists who found some, you know, their own life, either sickness or something, and they would call me. That's the only time they would call me. But uh, uh, they they were kind of, you know, in general they are avoiding me. But uh, at least they acknowledge that, uh, you know, I am serving the Lord, and that they can expect. Uh, miracles when I pray. Isn't that wonderful? So let me give you a, a vision the Lord uh, gave me, and it was, uh, I, I call it uh, like, a, uh, well, uh, in, in the uh, throne room, like a, a scene where God the judge was sitting sitting at the throne, and Satan in front of God was accusing me before God. And remember, Satan is called accuser of the brethren. Okay? Book of Revelation chapter 12, verse 10, tells us that Satan, the dragon, or the, uh, uh, you you know, he has many names, Uh, dragon, dragon, was it uh, uh, well many many other names and accuse of the brethren is a major thing. It will accuse us saints, us children, day and night. Okay, so but what? But what kind of reasons? Okay, in my vision, he was using. Uh, he was actually quoting scriptures, and he said. God, I call, allowed the strife with her friends. And according to James 3.16, when uh, uh, envy and the strife uh, is in, in her life, uh, there's every evil work. And I have the right to put upon her every evil work. And then uh, another one was, uh, there was an unforgiveness in her, and she got angry. And she never uh, uh, 
ch- chose to forgive the person. So according to your word in Mark 11, 25 and 26, uh, when, when you are offended, forgive. But if you do not forgive, your Heavenly Father will not forgive you. This is what Jesus said about Heavenly Father. So if we are not forgiven of our sins, then that means we are wide open to Satan's attacks. Okay? So these are the two scriptures in front of me. He quoted and said, God, this is your word, and uh, uh, there's nothing you can do about it because I caught her in, in unforgiveness. I caught her in strife. Therefore, I have every right to put, uh, uh, you, you know, uh, every evil work. That includes, uh, you know, pain and sicknesses or uh, any uh, hardships and finances and other complications. And uh, th- there was a total silence. And uh, I knew what he was accusing me of was absolutely true. And uh, so I was, I started to cry, and uh, I said, Father, I know the accuser of the brethren accusing me, and that, that is true, but what can I do? And I, I know you're my advocate. I know Jesus is my advocate before the Father, the judge, and uh, what the, uh, Jesus came down from the right hand of the Father came to my level, and he said, Father, I pay the price. And so he, he was turning to me and said, you choose to forgive everyone who offended you. You choose to uh, release any form of strife and uh, uh, make sure that you have harmony in your relationships. Okay, so, and then he said, uh, my blood will erase any record from the, uh, the, the book of remembrance. Uh, Malachi chapter 3 verse 16 tells us that uh, uh, God is keeping the book of remembrance and uh, so everything that we said and did and so on is kept in the book of remembrance, but Satan, as the accuser of the brethren, must be doing the book of some kind of record also, but Satan is not om- omnipresent like God is, and omniscient, so Satan has to use henchmen to gather data, gather information, about what I said and did and so on. And then he keeps record according to what he gathered uh, from his henchmen. I, I want to uh, uh, give, give one more example of the person who is a PhD in psychology and he has a position, a very important position in the, uh, uh, I think it was a drug rehabilitation uh, center. And uh, he said to me, uh, some of them are demon-possessed and very superhuman strength. And he said he used to physically wrestle with some of them, you know, demon-possessed people, physically wrestle with them almost uh, uh, weekly. And uh, he would get exhausted. And so I told him about this Roman perspective and and you have to do the, uh, you, you know, uh, from uh, the taking authority from the throne room, looking down, and he started to practice that. And he said, I call, it's like a day and night difference. And uh, now I don't have to do the physical wrestling anymore. And he actually took a video movie of the, uh, the person who was demon-possessed, and he was trying to attack, but the, it could show in the video that he could not even get up. Uh, he, he was slid off from the chair and on the floor, and then he actually showed some invisible hand was holding him down, and uh, no human 
uh, being like uh, he used to do, wrestle, you know, keep him down on the floor or anything like that. It, it was just automatic. And uh, just simply command in the uh, demons to get out. And then almost instantly, the uh, eviction of the uh, de- demonic spirit would happen. And so th- this is the uh, wonderful testimony from the professional people 